Earth's greatest rainforest. The Amazon spans an area covering five and a half million kilometers. An immense biome that shelters a biological wealth unlike any other, and home to one of Brazil's most incredible animals, the lowland tapir. But with change rapidly coming to this region, with forests now being lost at an unprecedented rate not seen in years, a team of scientists are beginning a quest to understand and preserve the tapir in its Amazon home. This is the story of their journey. In 1996, a project was launched that would spark 23 years of research and conservation into the vulnerable and irreplaceable lowland tapir. Beginning in the highly fragmented Atlantic forest, the Lowland Tapir Conservation Initiative was formed as part of the work of Brazilian non-profit institute for ecological research. In 2008, the work was expanded to the Pantanal wetlands and in 2015 to the Cerrado grasslands. The mission of the LTCI is to gather together as much data as possible on both tapirs and the threats facing them, with the goal of then informing strategies and decisions that can reverse the decline in their numbers and secure a future for them in Brazil. The biomes covered so far represent three of Brazil's most prominent habitats, but there was always the largest and most challenging one remaining. Now, in 2019, it is time to launch the Amazon Tapir Program. The Amazon rainforest is the last major piece missing from over 25 years of the LTCI working with tapirs in Brazil, and the timing could not be more urgent. Globally, attention is on Brazil as a steward of Earth's largest rainforest and a critical player in the fight against climate change. Despite years of progress, Threats facing the Amazon are now on the rise again, and tapirs, as well as many other species and the forest itself, are under serious threat. Beginning in June, the team decided to find out for themselves the reality on the ground. With sites set on the southern arc of deforestation, the region of the Amazon that has historically faced the most intense pressures, the team embarked on a scouting expedition. This led through a vast and complex landscape on a scale that simply cannot be appreciated from looking at a map. Over 30 days, the route included farms, logging camps, past immense agricultural landscapes, indigenous people's lands, protected forests, mining concessions and palm oil plantations. The team drove highways and dirt roads. They trekked through forests and farms. They met many people along the way and listened to their stories and their knowledge. And after covering more than 10,000 kilometers, the equivalent of driving from one side of China to the other and then back again, they began to form a picture of the reality of the challenges that tapirs face today in the Amazon. Though there was much evidence of tapirs seemingly surviving and indeed thriving, there was also the tragic realization of the urgency of the threats that they are facing. So this is what the team plans to do about it. It is imperative that we understand as much as possible about how tapirs are impacted by the varied and complex landscapes of the southern Amazon. The scale is immense, but using key locations, it is essential to build a complete and detailed picture of the threats that are paramount to their survival, as well as the factors that are crucial to their persistence. It is only when supported with this knowledge that concrete measures for their conservation and survival can be proposed and advocated for. It is for this reason that the work will not focus on well-protected areas, but instead on regions where tapirs must face man-made threats. First, we must understand how forests that are managed by selective logging affect tapirs that live within and around them. Learning the dynamics of tapirs both before, during and following extraction cycles will help the team develop a rounded picture of the impacts logging has on them. Second, in regions that have large but well-managed oil palm plantations within a mosaic of Amazon rainforest, 
The team will investigate how tapirs live between their natural habitat and the monoculture plantations. Third, the interface between forest and massive agricultural landscapes of corn, soybean, cotton and cattle ranching presents another enormous challenge. As well as the habitat modification associated with these activities, the team will also assess the role that pesticides which are used on them play in affecting tapiru health, longevity, reproduction and mortality. Finally, mining concessions may play another important role in the ability of tapirs to persist in the Amazon. The extraction of iron and manganese in Pará allows the opportunity of investigating how activities associated with this industry impact tapirs. The focus will be on sites in private land across the states of Pará and Mato Grosso, using the contacts that have been established during the expedition. So this is the plan. But in order to achieve its goals, the team needs your help. During 30 days, they have learnt so much. But now the focus is on planning for the next five, 10, 15 years. If you believe in the work that the LTCI is doing, and that Brazil and the world deserves tapirs to persist in Earth's greatest rainforest, then please consider supporting the mission and help to ensure that tapirs have a future in the Amazon.